Hey guys, welcome back to Ritz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play OG Fortnite on iOS using Nova. In this video, I will be showcasing two methods on how you can do this, one that requires a PC and one that doesn't require a PC. For both of these methods, you're going to need to be in the Nova Discord server, so if you're not already a member, I will leave a link to join the server in the description of this video. Alright, the first method I'm going to show here is the no PC required method. So, you're going to want to go to Discord, go to the Nova server, and go to the mobile download channel. Once you're here, you're going to want to scroll up a little bit until you see iOS no PC required. First step is to download the Nova IPA. So you're going to click this link right here, wait for it to load, click on the little compass icon in the bottom right, and then hit download. Once it's done, it should turn blue in the top, go to downloads, and you should see Nova. Once you've downloaded the IPA, you can do the second step, which is to visit the second link right here. And again, you can hit the little compass in the bottom right, and it'll bring you to Safari. This website might have some ad pop-ups, just hit X on all of them, try not to click on any of them. Once you're on the website, scroll down to where it says install, and when you do this, it's probably going to pop up with another website. Just tab out of it, X out, and then go back here, hit install again, and it should bring you to this page with the direct installs. Click on the first direct install link. A countdown should pop up and this might happen, just hit the back arrow. Once the countdown is finished, it'll say open this page in iTunes, hit open, and then hit install. Once that finishes installing, if you try to open the Scarlet app, it'll say it's an untrusted developer, so you're going to need to go to your settings to make it a trusted developer. You can easily do this by going to your settings app, go to general, scroll down to where you see VPN and device management, go to HDFC whatever, uh, and then it'll show Scarlet, and then just hit Trust. Now you should be able to open the Scarlet app. Once you're here, go to the middle icon on the bottom of the screen. Go to the top right where it shows the same icon. And you should see your Nova IPA. Just click on it, and it should start loading. Once that's done, it'll show another install. Click on it. And once it's done, it should say Nova, and it should have the Jonesy icon. Or it might have the Nova N in the future. Now you can go ahead and open. Then it should start downloading about a three gigabyte download. All right, once that finishes up, you should be brought to this screen. Hit yes, find my account, go to Epic Games, and then type in your Nova email and password. Then once you hit log in, you should see a logging in screen. It might ask for your microphone, doesn't really matter. Yeah, you should be in at this point. I'm gonna hit auto fire because it's the easiest one in my opinion. It got it, go to lobby, and here you are. And again, you'll still have all of your skins on here. And anything, like any favorites that you've done on your like PC Nova account, if you already had one, everything will like transfer and all of your stats should transfer as well. So yeah, there you go. Before you go into a game here, I would recommend probably going to the HUD layout tool and doing all your binds. I just use default binds, but all of this is still here for you. And also, if you go to your settings, you should see frame rate, and I would recommend turning it up to 60 if your device can handle it. Alright, let's go into a game. And there you go guys, as you can see we're in a game, I'm gonna jump out of the bus, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, like I said at the beginning of this video, there is a second method. So if that one for some reason didn't work for you, and you have a PC, this should work. Now on your PC, you're gonna wanna again go to the mobile download channel and then scroll all the way up to the top here where it says just iOS, iOS 13 and above. And again, you're gonna need to download the Nova IPA, but you need to download it to your PC this time. Next, you're gonna wanna go to step two. You're gonna go to the link right here and you're gonna scroll down to where it says download side load. You're either gonna click on a Windows download or a Mac OS download based on your device. Once you're done with that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have iTunes installed. And if you have it from the Microsoft Store on a Windows device, you actually have to uninstall it and download it from this link right here. All right, next up, you're going to open up Sideloadly and your file explorer and plug in your iOS device. Next, you're gonna take the Nova IPA and drag it into the IPA section. It should show the little Jonesy logo, or again, it might show the Nova logo in the future, I'm not sure, uh, and then you should obviously see your device here. Next up, you're gonna type in your Apple ID, which I'm obviously not gonna show you guys my Apple ID, but you need to type in your real Apple ID, and then once that's typed in, you can hit start. It might take a second, but you should see an app starting to install, and then it will turn into Nova. 
I have two on my screen because I just did the other method, but you should only have one. Now, if you try to open Nova immediately, it'll say untrusted developer, but this time you can't just make it trusted as easily. You actually have to turn on developer mode. In order to do that, we're gonna again go to our settings. This time we're gonna go to privacy and security, scroll down to developer mode and turn this on. When you do toggle on developer mode, it's going to prompt you to restart. Just do that. When your phone turns back on, you're going to see a pop-up that says turn on developer mode. Do that, and then you'll have to type in your password, and then developer mode will be turned on. Once that's done, you can go ahead and open your settings, go back to general, scroll down to VPN and device management, and you should see your Apple ID email. And again, I'm going to have to blur a lot of the screen because your email shows up like three or four different times on the screen. But all you have to do here is click trust Apple ID email. It's going to be yours and then trust. Once you've done that, you should be able to open Nova. Same as before, you're going to have another three gigabyte download. But again, you should only be going through this once. One thing I do notice is that downloading on here is actually a lot faster than downloading on Scarlet, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Again, once this download finishes, you're going to be met with this screen. Hit yes, find my account, Epic Games, and type in your Nova login. Once you hit log in, you will start logging in. It asks for the microphone again. And then you're gonna be met with the auto fire screen again. I'm again gonna hit auto fire, but do what you want. Hit select, got it, lobby, and you're good to go. I almost just went in the squads there. My OG viewers might remember me making that mistake in the past on mobile. But yeah, again, here we are. Uh, I actually spawned a little off the bus here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just mobile loading times are a little longer or what, but you're in a game, you should be good to go. Uh, again, I would mess with the settings before you go into a game. I didn't even change my frame rate. That's much more beautiful. Uh, but yeah, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope one of the two methods works for you, but if not, comment down below and I might be able to help you. Either way, guys, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.